You're watching ABC 7 News at 5 on your side. A group of local activists spent the day on Capitol Hill today demanding Congress drop language from its massive spending bill that, if passed, would bar D.C. government from legalizing marijuana. And tonight they are rallying outside the Justice Department. That's where Mike Kaneen joins us live. So, Mike, what's going on there tonight? Well, Leon Allison, these activists have merged protests with the D.C. Ferguson movement. They say these issues are interrelated, drug policy, race relations, and, uh, and police interaction with the community. Now, these activists are so upset because D.C. voters overwhelmingly approved Initiative 71 in November. But in recent days, during private negotiations between leaders from both parties, a so-called rider was attached to the budget bill, essential to keeping the federal government open. And that rider overrules Initiative 71 and the D.C. electorate. I am extremely angered. I'm disappointed in folks that called themselves our friends and allies who sold out democracy in the District of Columbia. Voting rights and marijuana activists swarmed the Senate office of Majority Leader Harry Reid, pleading with him to strike language from the $1.1 trillion federal spending bill that would overturn Initiative 71. That initiative, legalizing marijuana in the district, was approved by D.C. voters by a nearly two-to-one margin. I'm involved in democratic politics. I am ashamed of the leadership of this party for letting this get this far. If the current bill is passed, these activists are calling on district government leaders to defy Congress. The city government should stand with the people and transmit the initiative uh, uh, as is. Washingtonians say they're outraged, including even some who voted against legalizing marijuana, like Doris Wilson. I absolutely disagree with the way Congress has handled it. Yes, I do. Why call it democracy? Why have us vote in the first place, you know? But Republican Andy Harris from Maryland, an outspoken opponent of D.C.'s marijuana laws, said numerous studies show the negative negative impact regular recreational marijuana use has on the developing brain and on future economic opportunities for those who use this illegal drug. I am glad Congress is going to, in a bipartisan way, uphold federal law to protect our youth by preventing legalization in D.C. A few activists are still sitting in Senator Reid's office tonight demanding to speak with him. So far, we're told no arrests have happened, but this group of activists is planning to march from the Department of Justice up to Capitol Hill, and they're promising civil disobedience tonight and in coming days. Reporting live in Northwest, Mike Kinney, ABC7 News. Okay, thank you, Mike. Time to